Boy, I just looked out the window and it is snowing pretty hard right now. Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Don't know if you heard that on the radio, but thankfully it's not snowing where I am pretty hard right now. I'm out at a local park operating portable. One of the nice things about the 705 is the fact that you can take it just about anywhere. And if you're gonna use it in a lot of different locations for a lot of different purposes, maybe in a lot of different scenarios, it would be kind of nice to have a lot of memories. Fortunately, ICOM has upgraded the way memories operate in the 705 compared to some other recent radios. In the 7100, they introduced the concept of banks. And in the 705, they've enhanced that quite a bit. And I think they've actually finally got it right. If you look at the memory channels on the 705, you'll notice that there's four digits. There's two digits for a group number and two digits for a memory channel number. So there's 0, 0 to 99 for the groups and 0, 0 to 99 for the memory channels. So that's 100 groups and 100 channels. And if you do the math on that, that's 10,000 memories. Well, actually, there really aren't 10,000 memories. There's 500 memories that are included or supported in the 705. And you can arrange them anywhere you want within those groups or channels. And you can also name the groups and name the channels. So it really makes it nice for organizing your memories in just about any way that might make sense for you. Let's take a look. Because of the limited panel space on the 705, there is no dedicated memory VFO button. So they use the touch screen and right here where it says VFO, or it may say memory, you touch the channel and VFO area and that brings up the memory submenu. So you can get to memories by pressing memo and that puts the radio into memory mode. And you have group over here, which when you touch group brings up the list of groups. You'll see I have some of mine named and then you can scroll down through all the groups and you'll see I have obviously a lot of these are blank. And you can also choose whether you see the blank groups or not. If you look up in the upper left corner here, you'll see it says all groups. If you touch up there right on that text, now I've changed it to active groups and now it's only going to show me groups that have memories programmed in them. Let me turn that down so you don't hear the speaker there. So I've only got a few groups programmed and then there's a special group here at the end called call channel. That's the call channel group which is the call channels for 2 meters and 440. You can't change that one or eliminate that one or deprogram that one. Those, those channels are fixed. So let's go back up. So then once I select a group then it puts me in that group. So if I select a different group, it'll put me in the group I've selected. And as you saw, we'll cover this in a minute, you can give the groups names that are meaningful to you. So you can organize your memories in a wide variety of ways, depending on how you use the radio. So in my case here, just as an example, Group two is Binghamton, New York, because I travel back there fairly frequently. So that's a group where I have memories for um, some of the repeaters back there. And actually, I think I've only got one channel, one or two channels programmed in that at the moment. And then I have another group here that says Kansas to New York. And this is programmed with some channels that are um, along the way for the driving trip from Kansas to New York. So those are a couple that I've programmed in my radio. If you take your radio to do parks on the air frequently at a particular park, you can program it with frequencies in that area, or if you go to different states or regions or whatever, or if you use your rig for different functions, you can program your groups based on different modes of operation. It's entirely up to you. There's another option that you have on the multi knob right now as i turn it it's staying within the group i selected group three 
if you go to the quick menu with the quick button here, right on the first page there is a channel select group range. And if you touch that, you have the option of the current group or all groups. So this affects how the multi knob changes the or how the multi knob tunes memory. So if I select all groups, now as I turn the multi knob, when I get to the end of the channels in that group, it goes to the next group. And then it goes up to the call channel group, and then it goes back to zero. And when I get through all of those, it goes to group one and to two and so on. So now the multi knob will scroll through every memory that you have programmed. And also you noticed that on the middle of the display here, when I do change groups, it briefly pops up the group name. So if you, uh, whether you, well, it, it pops up the group number on the display and then it displays it whether or not you have a name programmed. But the nice thing is if you do have a name programmed, you can see what group you've just gone into. That is also optional and you get to that from the settings menu. So if we go to menu, set, and we go into the display, which is down on the second page. If I go to display, group name pop up, and that's on the second page in the display menu. And you'll see I have that turned on. I believe this one is on by default. So if I turn that off, it will not pop up that little display briefly. I'm going to leave it on. Like all things ICOM, there are multiple ways to do anything. So another way that you can scroll through your memories, if you press the menu button, you have a memory option on here, and now you can go through and it shows you the groups. So this is memory groups. And if I go in and I select a group, now it gives me the list of memories in there. And this one does show you all the memories, whether they're programmed or not. So you can go in here and actually just select a memory. So if I just pick this one and touch it briefly, it takes me to that memory. So you can select memories and just put them up on the display with that option. But the more useful way to use this memory option from the menu button is when you are working with your memories, this also allows you to name the memories, you can clear the memories, and so forth. So if I touch and hold a memory, now I get the option to edit the name, I get the option to write to it. If I do memory write here, it will write whatever is in my main frequency display right now, whether that was a memory if I was on a memory channel, it would write the contents of that memory channel into this memory channel that I'm on, so effectively copying it. And if I was on a VFO frequency, it would write the contents of the VFO and the mode and everything else into the memory channel. So this will write the contents into wherever you are. Now you'll also see here, insert channel, move channel, memory clear, and delete channel and select all clear is for if you want to clear all the channels in this group. So you have a lot of functionality here where if you have a couple channels programmed and you want to put another channel in between them, you can insert a channel and it'll move all the other ones down and make room for you to put another channel in here. Because remember, as we said earlier, I've got a hundred groups and 100 channels per group, which is 10,000 memories. And I really only have 500 memories, so it allows you to insert and move those around as you like. Let's look at a quick example of a nice, fast way to write a memory. So let's say that I use your group zero for my local VHF, UHF repeaters and simplex and so on, which actually I do. And let's say I want to add um, 52 simplex to my programmed memories. So I'm in group zero. So 
So first we need to program 5.2 simplex in. So let's touch this and bring up the memory submenu. We'll go to VFO and let's get to two meters. So I'm going to touch the megahertz display, go to two meters. And you notice I'm leaving this memory submenu up. You can do all these other functions while this menu's up. If you're not using the spectrum scope on the bottom, you can leave this on the screen if you find that convenient for the way you're operating. So, I've got 146.52 on here for two meters, and I I'm already in group zero, and I want to add this to my memories in group zero. And I don't particularly care where, at the end is fine. So I've got MW, which is memory write. If I just tap that, don't hold it, but if I just tap it, it comes up and it says, do I want to write to a new channel, write to the selected channel, I'm currently on channel zero, write to a call channel, or manage memory. We'll get to these other ones in a minute. So the selected channel is zero, if I did that, it would overwrite what I already have in there. I don't want to do that. I want to write to a new channel. So if I just tap that, it's going to go to the end of the channels that are programmed. And you'll notice this looks very much like that memory screen that you bring up from the menu. So it's showing me that 6 is empty. So now if I just touch 6, it says, do I want to write to a blank channel? Yes, I do. Now... I shoo, oops, I need to get back into memory mode. And I should have, in channel six, I have now got 5.2 simplex. So, I've, and I have this set to scroll through the groups automatically here at the moment. So, so I've just added channel six to group zero. Okay, now let's look at programming a new group and a whole new set of channels. Let's say that I want to set up one of my groups for HF operation, and I want to put a bunch of HF frequencies that I frequently use into a separate group by itself. So we're going to bring up the memory submenu here, and we're going to go to groups. And I had previously with this was in active groups and I had set it back to all groups so let's go down and right now I'm using up to group three group four is blank so let's use group four for our HF frequencies and I'm gonna name that so I know what it is or to help me remember it in the future so in order to name this group we're just going to touch and hold on the group number and here it says displays active groups. That just changes the, the menu up here. If I touch and hold again, displays all groups. That basically gives you the same function as touching the text up here. So they give you a couple of ways of doing that. Let's scroll all the way back down to four. So let me touch and hold four. And what I want here is edit name. So I'm going to edit the name. And I'm going to say H F. And I put a space there. Whoops, I thought I hit space. Space. N E, I'm making them all caps. T S. Enter. All right, so group four is HF nets. Now it's still blank because I haven't put anything in any memories, but we've got the group named now. So let's say I want to put a 20 meter frequency in. So we'll go back to VFO. And let's go to 20 meters. And let's say I have a net that meets on 14265 upper sideband. And I want filter one. This will remember the filter that you've used as well. And I'm going to put that into my new group. Now, I'm not in group four right now. I'm in group zero. And I don't want to go check, pick the group and go back and go back and forth. If I just touch memory right, you'll notice there's a selection at the bottom here that says manage memory. Manage memory gives you, brings you to the same 
menu display as if I had pressed menu and hit the memory option on there. So this takes me now to my memory groups. So I'm going to say there's four HF nets. And now I'm in channel zero and I'm going to press and hold channel zero and I'm going to do memory write. And you notice it shows me what frequency is currently loaded into the radio. So I'm just going to hit memory write. It asks you if you're sure. Yes. So now we've just added that to memory zero. So you can get to this memory menu here a couple of ways as well. You can get to it like I just did from the menu, or if you have the memory submenu in, if you do memory write and you pick the manage memory option, it'll take you to that menu. That's all we're going to cover this time. So far, I think the IC705 has the best functionality that I've seen for saving and editing memories from the radio front panel. As you saw in some of the pop-up menus, it has a pretty rich set of functions for moving and organizing the memories, too. We'll cover those functions in another video. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, I'd appreciate a click on the like button. If you find the channel useful, please consider subscribing. You'll want to click on the bell icon to be notified when new videos come out. You can also check out the companion website for this channel at a2z.tech. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.